So I think Nintendo is going to release a Switch XL, but not a Switch Pro. I also believe the Switch XL is going to come with that larger display, hence the XL name. It's going to come between 6.8 and 7 inches, and it's going to be an OLED display. So we're going to get those rich, vibrant colors on this system as well. It's going to be in 720p, but should be fine. However, when you dock it into the TV dock for the Nintendo Switch, it will output the 4K. They're going to be able to do this by taking advantage of NVIDIA's DLSS technology. However, they're going to need to make some changes internally for this to work. Now, what they're going to have to change internally is going to be the processor because the current X1 processor inside of it, which is rumored to go out of production sometime down the line. Although I think Nintendo will order enough chips to push the current switches down far enough so that when they're going to do an next true upgrade, th th they'll be good for a few years. Now, with this new Switch XL, they're going to have to use a new processor because it doesn't have a TPU or a Tensor processing unit inside of it. And Tensor cores are required for DLSS technology to work. So what I I believe what they'll do here is use the next processor coming up in the Tegra line, which is Xavier, which was released maybe about a couple of years ago or so, which should allow them to be able to use DLSS. So I'll put that in, I think they'll put that inside of this Switch XL, which gives it a, a, an advantage here because you'll be able to take advantage of DLSS. You'll still be able to play your older games as well too. And I believe it'll allow them to patch some of their first party games or develop, develop some patch their games to take advantage of this. So if you already own the game, most likely you'll be able to upgrade to the Switch XL and take advantage of the better graphics that come with it. So I think they'll do that. And I think a lot of those patches be free. At least that's my understanding of how DLSS works. You'll need a patch or something on the game to do that. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments for people that are more gaming devs, if that's true or not. But I believe that's what they're going to sort of do here. I think we'll get increased battery capacity on it as well, too, to, to make it for the size of the screen. I'm hoping we get increased storage size internally in it. Probably won't be a big boost, but just better than what we currently have. And you're still going to need SD cards. I think that's definitely something 100% you're going to need here inside of it. And I do believe we're going to see a price adjustment with this as well, too. When this is released, most likely it's going to be at a $299 price point, while the Switch, uh, regular Switch, will probably knock down to about $199. And I think the Switch Lite will go around $130. Bucks, so it'll have sort of a three device attack on the Switch platform, because that's what this is. This is a large platform. It's been out for about four years, but there's a massive audience there, so they can't tweak this so much that people have to buy brand new hardware. They got to keep everything within that ecosystem, but just upgrade this so you can get more third party devs. You can increase the, the graphics on games and they're probably going to make some more remakes as well too to expand the life on this a little bit down the line. So when a new Switch uh, 2 is going to be out there, it's really going to be something different, but they got to take advantage of what they have here and push this down to at least to make it at least 10 years with the console. They're four years in, but they, they can push another four more. Now, the reason I think they'll call it Switch XL and not Switch Pro is mainly because of how they've been naming their mobile console since the DS. You had the DS, DS Lite, you had the DSi, DSi XL. You also had the 3DS, 3DS XL, then the 2DS, you had the Switch and the Switch Lite. The XL name just makes a lot of sense. But whenever they tweak hardware, they usually put like the new in front of it. So I think in this instance, we'll see something like the new Nintendo Switch XL. It's a moniker that does a little bit new hardware, but it falls into this family and we get the larger display in the XL. I think that makes a lot of sense there for them to kind of effectively do that in, in, in this sort of realm. Also, they just released a Nintendo Switch Mario edition, which is pretty cool. And I, I can't see them all of a sudden, you know, making that obsolete. So I definitely, I think that's pretty cool. You can definitely check out the uh, video unboxing that we had to did here of this. And we'll see you real soon. Let me know in the comments what you think of a Switch XL.